Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Noor Networks. In this tutorial, we will be having a quick overview of SOFO Central policies. SOFO Central provides you a set of policies for the endpoint protection that will help you to protect your endpoints. There are a list of policies which SOFO Central provide and of course we will be configuring one by one policies and we will be testing the policies into our endpoints where we have installed the SOFO's endpoint agent in the coming tutorials. So basically a SOFO Central provides a list of endpoint protection policies which are threat protection policy, peripheral control policy, application control policy, data loss prevention, web control policy, update management, Windows Firewall Policy. If you will see that all the base policies templates are pre-configured and basically a base policy is the one which is applied to the endpoints whenever you install a SOFOS endpoint agent into the computers by default uh, the user or a computer will get a base policy. The base policy is by default available and uh, coming on when you are configuring a policy like let's say over here you have two policies somewhere you will find three policies so just remember similar to the firewall where the upper policy have a higher precedence similar is the situation over here the top policy will have a higher precedence the policy at the top of the list overrides the policy at the bottom of the list additionally uh, when we talk about the policies, you can define a policy either user based or you can define a policy device based. But there will be certain policies which uh, so forth restrict either to the user based or the device based. So let me categorize that when we talk about the threat protection policy, you can define a left threat, uh, sorry, a threat protection policy either user based. Uh, or a device base when you uh, say a policy as a user base that policy will be limited to the user so if on that particular computer a user let's say for example we have enforced a policy for user a and on that computer if uh, user b login in that case that policy will not be enforced for user b but if you uh, configure a policy device base then in that case irrespective of the user the policy will be applicable for all the users i mean it will be applicable on the computer itself so starting with the threat protection policy threat protection policy basically give you an option for like uh, uh, over here you will be uh, you will be able to configure the life protection uh, life scanning threat scanning deep scanning you can define a schedule and you can either assign the policy to a user or to a device. Next comes the peripheral control. Again, the peripheral control can be configured either user based or a device based. Using this policy, you can control the external storage that are connecting to the computers. You can block the USB access, CD, DVD access, and so on any peripherals which are being connected you can control through this policy and you can block those over your network then comes the application control policy again application control policy over here give you option like either you can configure the policy user based or device based so basically application control policy allow you to allow a certain application or it will help you to deny a certain application. Summarizing the application control, one can say that SOFOS Enterprise Console enable you to detect and block controlled application that is a legitimate application that are not a security threat but that you decide are unsuitable for use in your office environment. So moving on, there comes a web control policy. Basically, a web control policy over here, so forth, enforce you that the web control policy should be a user based policy only. You cannot configure this as a device based policy because web control will work on the user base. Using this policy, this policy basically works similar to the web filtering of the firewall. Over here, you will define a Basically, uh, when you talk about a firewall, it works over the network level, but 
when you talk about the web control policy in Sophos Central, it works on the endpoint level. The functionality is almost same. Over here also, the, uh, you will find a list of websites being categorized as per their functionality. So you can allow or you can deny or you will customize the policy as per your requirement, what you need to allow, what you need to block. Next comes the update management policy. Basically, this uh, particular policy, using this policy, you will be creating a schedule to update the endpoints. Usually, you will define a time uh, and a day. Like, let's say, for example, there is a possibility when an update come in bulk, the there will be a network congestion. There will be a possibility, not uh, always, but there may be a possibility. So it's the better and a recommended practice that you configure a policy where the updates are being done on a specific timing on a specific day. So you can define a timing which is not the peak time where when the users are connecting. It's not a time when the users are in bulk. It's not a day when it's a working day. So usually a midnight, you can define a timing with a day as a week off. And then at last comes the Windows firewall policy. So using this, you can monitor and configure a Windows firewall on your endpoints using a Windows firewall based policy. You can apply a Windows firewall based policy to an individual endpoint or to a group of endpoints. It allows you to configure a monitor only option where an endpoint will report their firewall status to Sophos Central. So guys this was just a brief overview of the policies. Anyhow in the coming tutorials one by one we will be configuring the policies and we will be looking after like how these policies work, how you can customize the policies and of course we will be justifying these policies by testing it over the workstation where we have installed the Sophos endpoint agent. Apart from that on which computer which policy is working that also you can view like by going to the computers over here let's open one of the computer and then you have a tab called policies over here. You will click over here in the policies and you will see that for this particular computer this kind of policies are being assigned like the base policy of the device encryption application control lab policy is the one which uh, we are going to create in the coming tutorial of course that is being assigned and so on so uh, for the particular device also you can see which policy is being assigned to which uh, computer what are the policies assigned to this particular computer that's all about a brief overview of the policy so for central endpoint protection policies Thanks for watching my video. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe and do share with your friends. Thanks and see you in the next tutorial.